In this lesson, I will take you inside a fresco document, and from there, provide you with a general overview of the tools, panels, and settings available to you. Let's look inside a fresco document. On the left-hand side, you'll see I have a toolbar. The toolbar has things like brushes, erasers, a paint bucket, a type tool, um, and it has a color picker here where I can grab different colors to add to my brushes or to my type, and a bunch of different things there for drawing and painting. Under each tool, if you see a little tiny mark on the bottom right hand side, that means you can open it and it'll open up a menu and give you lots of options for that tool. For example, here's the pixel brushes and the pixel brushes, wow, look at all the different kinds of brushes available to me. There's charcoal, comics, dry media, ink, painting, sketching, all kinds of things for me to play with. It also allows me to move these panels should I need to get them out of the way. I mean, if I just click it, it gets it out of the way, but let's say I want it open. And if I do want it open while I'm working, that's fine, but maybe it's getting in my way when I'm trying to get something under here. Well, I could always move it around to the other side or wherever I want to help assist me. Or I could dock it. Dock it, docking it will just kind of lock it in place. So if I go really close to the edge, see how that blue bar appears? That means it's going to dock right there. So I, as soon as I see that, I let go. And now it's locked into place and won't easily get moved around. If I don't like it there, I can, I can move it again. Or I can just hit the X and close it. Another thing to note about panels, anytime there's a panel that pulls out, a lot of times you'll see like three dots here. That means that there's other things that you can do with that. So for example, this one says manage your pixel brushes. So if I click that, it allows me to do different kinds of things to manage the brushes that I have in here. And that's going to be true with any panel you open. If you see the three dots, that just means it's giving you some more options available. And this one doesn't have it, obviously. So they don't always have them. But if they do, hey, there's some more things you can be doing. <laughs> and look at over here. Here's three dots. Anytime you see three dots, just means there's more options available to you. Please click it and start discovering what kinds of things are there for you. Okay, so now that I'm on the right-hand side with the layers, all of these icons right here will work with your layers panel. And, and we will learn more about those in another section. There are two icons on the bottom. The first one is for animation, and the last one has a number of drawing guides to assist you to draw. Let's see, and then I'm going to go up here. I showed you the layers where you can hide or show your layers. This is also um, for layers that allows you to change the properties of your layers, like make change the opacity or the blending mode, which you'll learn more about later. This one is a grid. These are all things that help you have sort of a drawing precision. And then this one is <laughs> for adding comments. Maybe the comment is for yourself, or maybe you're to share comments with others if you're working on a project together. Up above is, this is the undo button. This is the redo button. The little question mark allows you to get help. Um, here's your view gestures. Remember that in the settings earlier? Here, if you need to 
look up, boy, what does two fingers do? What does three fingers do? What does, how do I rotate? What, you know, for those of you with touch screens, it'll quickly uh, tell you what different gestures will do for you. And let's see, let's take a look. I want to take a look a little more in there. Up oh, and there's those keyboard shortcuts. For those of us who don't have touch screens, um, and many of these will work for you whether you have a touch screen or not. And then let's see what else. Um, oh, the little icon here with what looks like a little portrait of somebody, that's where you can share documents between you if you're working in a team. All right, and then this one with the little square and the arrow pointing up is that's how I can publish and export. And then there's the gear icon. Gear icon usually means settings. In this case, it gives you settings for within your document, like you could rotate your entire document um, you could flip it and stuff like that. And then um, it also at the very bottom gives you those app settings. Remember the app settings I showed earlier that you got on the home page? You can find them also within here. And then in the very top right hand corner is these two little arrows. If you click on that what it does is it pushes away everything that's extra so that you can have lots of room to work on your document. And the only icon it's going to keep open from your tools is the one that you're working with. So right now I have a pixel brush icon because that's the tool that I'm in. Um, and then it does have my layers still there, but let's say I want even more room to just expand and really express myself, I would go back over here to this little layers icon, hide it, and then open and expand the viewing space. And I can really get free and work without any clutter. So now you have a little bit of an idea of the different kinds of tools that are there for you. In later chapters, we will go more in depth with them.